In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and configure Cisco Viral, or the Cisco Virtual Internet Routing Lab. Now I've broken up this video into multiple smaller videos as part of a series, because I want to talk about the requirements for Cisco Viral. I want to show you how to download the Viral Virtual Machine, how to license Viral, and how to build topologies using VMware Maestro. So there are a lot of steps to complete to get Cisco Viral working. But the good news is that it's a lot simpler than it used to be in the past. So if you're only interested in certain parts of this installation, configuration, and setup, jump to the relevant video in this series. But I am going to try and cover the A to Z or A to Z of downloading, installing, and configuring Cisco Viral. So I'm now gonna talk about some of the requirements and theory of Cisco Viral. Jump ahead if you wanna only watch the installation process. Viral is Cisco's official labbing environment. On Viral's website, we told that Viral is Cisco's powerful, easy to use. Some people would debate that and extensible network modeling and simulation environment. It allows you to build models of existing or planned networks. I think that one of the greatest things about Viral is that you get various Cisco operating systems included. You get Cisco IOS V, which is a routing platform. Cisco IOS V Layer 2, which is a powerful Layer 2 switching platform. This essentially allows you to simulate or emulate switches. It supports technologies such as Ether Channel, Rapid Spanning Tree, and other advanced switching features. iOS V gives you routing. This gives you Layer 2 switching as well as Layer 3 switching. iOS XR gives you XR functionality. Nexus OS gives you Nexus functionality. CSR 1000 V gives you a NFV or Network Function Virtualization version of a physical Cisco router. And we also have ASAV, which allows us to emulate Cisco ASA firewalls. In other words, this gives you a lot of functionality. All the images are included with Cisco Viral. Cisco Viral consists of two main components. There is a VM, which you need to download and run within a hypervisor such as VMware Workstation, and it also includes a graphical user interface called a VM Maestro. VM Maestro is also included as part of the virtual machine download. So essentially, you're going to download a virtual machine from the viral website and import that into VMware Workstation, VMware Player, VMware Fusion, or VMware ESXi. A lot of good information is included on the Viral website, including prerequisites. Make sure that you have a look at the prerequisites for Viral. Viral supports ESXi. So this is the VMware server solution that is supported. The versions are listed here. Hardware requirements are listed here. VMware desktop solutions include VMware Fusion Pro, VMware Workstation, and VMware Workstation Player. Versions supported are listed here. Hardware requirements are listed here. So as an example, you need four plus CPU cores. You need at least eight gig of RAM and 100 gig of disk space. Bare metal installations are also supported with these requirements. But notice here, please, the following are not supported. VMware ESXi on AMD is not supported, as well as VirtualBox. Running viral in VirtualBox is not currently supported because VirtualBox does not support nested virtualization. You need to run a VMware product such as VMware Workstation or VMware Player because they support nested virtualization. Otherwise, you can run Viral on a bare metal installation. In other words, install it directly on physical hardware. So make sure that you're aware of the requirements for Cisco Viral before you try and install it. 
Other requirements are listed here, including the fact that you need internet connectivity. Viral will only allow you to be offline for a maximum of seven days. If you're behind a firewall, you need to permit the viral service to verify your installation. You can download viral from the viral website. The viral PE license is available on my account on the Cisco Learning Network store or CLN store. The OVA and ISO are also available there as well as Cisco Virtual Machines. Now, if you don't have a VMware Workstation or VMware Player, go to vmware.com and click Downloads and then select the product that you want to download. VMware Workstation Player is free software that can be used for personal use. In other words, you can't use it in a business. Workstation Pro is more powerful, but it's paid software. You do get a 30-day trial license, but if you want to use Viral for a longer period of time, which you're probably going to want to do, you're going to have to pay for the software. So if you don't want to pay for the software, get VMware Workstation Player. It's a little bit more limited, but you can run Viral within a VMware Workstation Player. And again, it's free software. You can simply download it to your local computer and run Cisco Viral within VMware Workstation Player. Okay, the software has downloaded, so I'm going to install the software. So click Run. As you can see, the installation process for VMware 14 Workstation Play is starting. The VMware Workstation Player Wizard is displayed. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to accept the license agreement. You should read the license agreement and see if you agree with it. And then click Next. I'm going to simply click Next, Next, Next through the installation wizard and click Install to install a VMware Workstation Player. Okay, so VMware Workstation Player has installed. I'm going to click Finish. What I'll do now is start a VMware Workstation Player. Now in this example, I'm not using VMware Workstation Player for commercial use. So I'm going to click Continue and click Finish. So my VMware Workstation Player has started up. 